Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Tragedy on Detroit's west side. We've learned a two year old suffocated and died after getting her neck stuck in the back window of a car. This happened on Winthrop Street Monday afternoon. We'll be following up to get more information as the investigation unfolds. United Auto Workers at General Motors have been on strike more than 24 hours now. State lawmakers joined them on the picket line in Romulus Monday night in a show of support. The union and the company remain at the bargaining table as they try to reach a tentative agreement. With the budget battle still playing out in Lansing, 48,000 state workers have been notified of potential layoffs. This means Secretary of State offices would close, state road construction projects would stall, and state lottery games would stop. The new fiscal year starts on October 1st, so the state has until then to get a deal done. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your 7 First Alert forecast. Generally a good last week of summer, but tomorrow in the morning fog around could be pretty thick to get you through the morning drive. Might take some extra time. It burns off. We get a few clouds around 78, then lots of sun Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday warming from the upper 70s to the mid 80s. All right, thanks a lot, Dave. And historic Catholic Church on Detroit's east side is marking a milestone in its restoration. The 200 foot high steeple and bell tower of St. Joseph Oratory are like new again. The overhaul took almost a year to complete. The steeple is the first major project in a two and a half million dollar restoration campaign. Well, those are your headlines. Remember to go to WXYZ.com and of course our seven app for news anytime. Have a great day.